In this video, we're going to talk about classes in Python. And unlike with recursion, classes are a little bit odd in Python. So we're going to talk about some of those, those oddities that we have. We're going to go through some examples here. Um, and then we'll have a programming exercise in class about them. Um, and then on Friday, we'll talk more about inheritance and object-oriented designs. We're doing some kind of basics here, OK? So when we're defining a class in Python, we start with the class keyword here. And then we're going to name this class planet, OK? It ends with this, the, the colon, OK, which means it's indented over and it's a structure, OK? And the first thing to think about <clears throat> or to remember with, with Python classes is that instead of the normal constructor that we would call it the same name, there'd be a planet constructor if this were C++, we instead define a function called underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. Looks like one un long underline, but that's really two underscore characters, OK? So with this function, we're going to have to set up values for all of the member data. We kind of define the member data right here. We don't define it anywhere else, OK? So we always have to send a self to our functions, OK, in case we're in case there are multiple objects going around. This is the current object is what self refers to. It's like this in C++. And then I'm just putting in dummy variables here for the name, the radius, the mass, and the, and the uh, distance, OK? So we then do a self dot, series of self dots, OK? And all of those self dots um, have, it's where we define the member data. So we have name, radius, mass, and distance, OK? In this case, I want to set them up as private, which is the normal thing to do, OK? So it's, again, underscore, underscore name is a private variable. OK, underscore, underscore radius, underscore, underscore mass, and underscore, underscore distance. Those are all private variables. OK, so we can't access them directly. OK, so we, then we need to have our accessors, OK, which allow us to have access to the data. And note that we certainly have the ability to do some testing here. Uh, we can make sure that that radius is actually a number and, and, and that it's uh, a positive number or whatever. For, for simplicity, we're not. OK. And again, I'm following along with the optional textbook, more or less here. OK, so all we're doing, we're returning again, it's self dot underscore underscore name is what we're returning Okay, for all these. OK, um, the mutators work the same way OK, in that I'm doing a self and then I'm sending in a new name and then I'm letting the self dot underscore underscore name be equal to that. OK. As far as the test goes here, I may, and you can have uh, mutators for whatever you want, and you can there as well. You can put conditions on it. Okay. So I've got my planet is equal to planet, and then I'm sending it all of the data that it needs. Okay. I'm then printing out the myplanet.get name. Okay. I'm then uh, setting the name to moon, which I know isn't a planet, but you know, hey, I have no creativity this morning. And then I'm printing out the name again. Okay. So if I run this, this should work. Okay. Note that if I don't have enough data here and we run it, okay, it's going to give me a type error. Okay. It's missing something. Okay. So you have to make sure that you match the constructor. Okay. So now it's okay. Okay. Um, other kinds of functions you can do, we'll, we'll take a, 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 another direction here where it's talking about operator overloading. Where in C++, we would have to have the operator plus keyword or whatever. There are some built-in functions to do this for us in, um, in Python. So the underscore underscore add automatically is going to deal with addition. Okay. So I've created here a fraction class with a numerator and denominator. Okay. And then I'm just setting those values here. I'm making them public. Doesn't matter in this case, but I just happen to. Um, and then I'm defining this underscore, underscore, add, underscore, underscore, okay? It's going to take itself, it's going to take another, okay? And in this case, it's not always the case, but in this case, if I have a fraction added to another fraction, I expect a fraction back, okay? So not just from some random number. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and create an answer as a new fraction, just to, at one one. It doesn't matter, I'm going, to, I'm going to replace it in any case, okay? but I just want to create a fraction there, okay? Um, note that I'm not disallowing a zero denominator, which I should be, but just trying to make a point here, okay? So if I wanted to make sure, and, I, and I'm certainly not caring about reducing the fraction, if I want to make sure that we're going to get um, the correct number and not have to worry about changing to the, to the correct uh, base and all that, 
I'm just gonna let my answer numerator equal to the self numerator, okay, times the other denominator to make the base the same, and then the other numerator times the self denominator, okay? And then for the denominator, denominator, I just have to multiply those two together, okay? Um, and that's that's how we're gonna do our addition here. It's kind of ugly, but it gets the point. Then we're gonna return from that function, uh, that answer, okay? I'm also adding here underscore underscore str function. That's another one of the ones that are um, that are built in, and that just allows you it it returns a string representation. So I can just say print fraction name, and it's going to work. Okay. So in that case, we're returning this uh, string here, this f self numerator slash and self denominator. Okay. So to test this out, I'm creating the fraction uh, F1 um, is equal to one over two and, and F2 is one over two as well. Uh, just so when I add them together, I should get one. I'm gonna actually gonna get four over four, but that, that should give us the correct answer. And then I'm setting my F3 is equal to F1 plus F2. Okay, and I can use that when I've developed it up here. It looks like this, but it gets used like this down here. And then I'm using the str function. I never call it directly, but it, it's called automatically. Okay, so when I run those, you see I get the one half plus one half is equal to four over four, which is one, but I would then have to do something as far as um, reducing those, which I'm not going to do in this example. Okay, so that just gives you a kind of an idea of how you could uh, create um, classes how to use the add, how to use the string. There's some others you can do. There's one for um, testing a quality, the, the EQ, NE for not equal, LT for less than, uh, LE for less than or equal to, GT for greater than, and GE for greater than or equal to. Okay, so, and there's some other built-in functions that you can do uh, when you're using that, okay? So that allows you to define uh, some more uh, detail, basically. Okay, so now let's take a look at another example here. Okay, and this one um, is going to use the planet class. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go back up here. Okay, so I've defined my planet class here. Okay, I'm gonna now define a sun class. Okay, this is class. Sun, again, this is from the book, the optional textbook, okay? Again, we're gonna define our underscore, underscore init function. Always takes a self. In this case, we're gonna take a name. We're gonna take a radius, okay? Um, we're going to take a mass. We're gonna take a temp. So this looks very much like the planet did, okay? And then in the same way, in fact, we can come up here and copy all this stuff. It's going to be the same. Where am I at? Here I'm at. Okay. So we've got those as well. Okay. Um, and that should get us started on that one okay we want for this one just to have a get to mass function okay which is going to return self dot underscore underscore mass okay we'll do a string function underscore underscore str underscore underscore okay which again takes a self and in this case we're going to return self dot underscore underscore name that's all that the the print function is going to do okay so next class we're going to develop here combining these things together somewhat okay is going to be um a solar system class
Okay, the solar system class. It's going to have its init function with self a sign. Then we're going to send it. Okay. So we get our self dot underscore underscore the sun is equal to a sun. Okay. We're also going to develop here self dot underscore underscore planets that we're going to set as an empty list. Okay. So in our solar system that we're modeling, okay, we're going to have a sun, we have one sun object, and we're going to be able to have um, multiple planets. So there's going to be a list of planets. Okay. So in this case, we can define. So so this is an example of composition. Um, so this is a has a. So uh, a solar system has a sun, and a solar system has a planet. Right? We could have multiple planets. Okay. So if we have an add planet class here, take self. It's going to take a planet. Okay. Then we're going to say self dot underscore underscore planets. That's just another list. So we're going to be able to append here. Let's see, it pops up for me. And I want to append the A planet that's coming in on the list. Okay. That's all that's going to do. And I'm going to create a function called show planets, which just takes a self. And it's just going to iterate. So for a planet in self dot underscore underscore planets, so we're going to iterate through that list. Okay. We're going to print a planet. Okay. That's for all we're doing there. Okay. And then as far as the test program, so I'll get rid of what we had before. Okay. My test program, I can say, um, let's see, sun is equal to sun, call it sun. And it's going to be 5,000, 1,000 for the, obviously the radius. The mass is 1,000, and the temp, let's say, is 5,800. Okay, I've got that. Now I can create solar system. It's going to be equal to the solar system. Okay, and then send it the sun. Okay, that should create that. Okay, I can now create some planets to add to this. So I can say p dot, or sorry, p is equal to planet, my first definition, Mercury. These data are correct or not, because I'm just taking it from the book. OK, so it, that's the values for that. I'm going to do ss dot add planet p. Okay, and we're going to add a couple more here. So let me go ahead and copy this. We're going to add Earth and Mars and Jupiter, let's say. Earth is at 50, 60, 30. Hmm. Okay. Mars is at 47, 50, and 35. Again, these numbers can be totally made up. Jupiter is at 75, 100. 50. Okay, we're adding all those planets, then we should be able to say ss dot 
show planets. Okay, we run that. And we don't have an error, but we have an error. Okay, what doesn't it like? Oh, those were different numbers on the sun. Okay, so I copied them and shouldn't have because instead of radius, okay, so the sun had instead um, a temp, sorry, instead of distance. So that's the issue there. Okay, I'm going to just change this to I temp just so we're consistent. Oh, I temp was there. Okay, so I got a little crazy with my. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, that's odd. It's showing the planet objects. That must mean I've got something wrong in my show planets. Okay. Do I have a string function for planet? That just does the name. Okay, so my planet. That may that may be the issue with my planet. Let's see. Do I have under the planet the underscore 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 string? That may be what it's doing. See if that's the problem. Okay, so here I can do def underscore underscore str underscore underscore, which takes a self. And I'm going to return self dot underscore underscore name. Okay, let's see if that fixes that. Yeah, that fixes. That was the issue. Okay. So I had to have that ability to print out those um, functions, because if not, it was just printing out the planet. Okay, And I could have used the get name there, but it was easier just to use the string overload function. Okay, So that gives us kind of an idea of, of how we put these things together and some of the special methods and some of the, the basic things we're going to be doing here. Okay, um, The book, if you have it, goes on and does some pretty crazy things with turtles and um, the the math of, of uh, planetary orbits and all that stuff. And if you're interested, feel free to go through that, but we're not going to go through it on this video. Okay. So again, we'll do an example of classes um, in class tomorrow and we'll go from there.